Hello, this is me, Mr. JSM Productions, and I'm coming at you with a Lego Steampunk mock. Now, um, this is set in an alternate reality in which the empires of the Victorian era have spread out into the beyond space. And they've set up colonies on the different planets of our solar systems. Uh, there is, there's um, Mars, that's been colonised by Britain. And Pluto, which has been colonised by France. And the French and British have started a war over some kind of territorial dispute. Um, and this is a little mock depicting the third battle of New Yorkshire. Um, so on the attacker side we've got the British and on the defender side we've got the French and this is set in like the outskirts of the city so there's a building there and it's this is a very um marshy planet and it's been there's been a battle going on here for months so that's why there's trench systems and heavy bombardment and stuff such okay let's get into a mock we'll start with the british side okay so there are three main elements of the attack there's the uh native well the um In the human um, part, the colonial forces part, and then there's the commando part. We'll go into the human portion first. Hold on, let's get the light on first. Sorry, I'll, sorry about the books. Um, I was doing some revision earlier. Okay, on the human side, we have various uh, British soldiers they are the um, they're using the United Bricks 1800s British torso with painted legs and they're mainly uh, taking cover in this ruined building because they have a communications officer with a carbine and he is uh, trying to contact for an air raid, and he's using a Brick Warriors radio pack, a Falsham Jaeger radio pack, um, and he's using a Brick, Brick Warriors Italian carbine as well. And the, the ruin building isn't much to talk about. Uh, there's also a dead British soldier there. Uh, these British soldiers are mainly carrying Lee Enfields. Because that's still the uh, main service rifle of the time, of the British. And this soldier is holding a stick grenade. It's not focusing very well. well. This soldier is holding a stick grenade. And he's getting ready to assault the thing. There's also a small crater here from... Uh, there's a small shell hole. Here. And you can see layering all along the um, battlefield uh, and little grass pieces. And then we've got the colonial aspect. These are the Martians. And the colonial forces can be differentiated from the normal British forces because they have tan, uh, dark khaki trousers, pantaloons. So they're armed with a more primitive rifle that carries less um, uh, rounds, but it's also more accurate, which is good for the um, larger eyes of the uh, Martian warriors. And there's an officer here wearing a, um, a cap with a 
neck flap and he's holding a submachine gun and he's being shot so he's falling backwards. There's also the top half of a Martian soldier here and he's laying the other half is in the water of this um, crater but the water's there because of um, heavy rains. Uh, and then there's the commander aspect, the commandos. Uh, there, the commandos are basically there to um, infiltrate the base, um, infiltrate the trench, and kind of flank this machine gun post here. Uh, so there's a dead commando here, commando here, who's also got a submachine gun, and he's holding a stick grenade. And the co dead commando is armed with a luger. There's a commando officer. Well, they're more they're more marines really, because the officer's more of a seafaring type of officer, seafaring, and he's armed with a revolver and a cavalry sword because there aren't any other good swords. And there's also this commando here, armed with a shotgun. Oh, the quality is not the best, is it? And they're going past this barbed wire, which um, has been cleared, but it's kind of still staying up so that the French soldiers didn't go out and fix it before the officers arrived, the commandos arrived, rather, and there's the wire cutters there. There's also um, a dead cavalry soldier here, uh, whose steam stallion uh, was knocked down and his lance broken, so he was trying to escape this is before this main battle happened, but he could, and he was trying to escape with his um, carbine, which looks pretty cool, I think. It's just a Mosin Nagant with the um, barrel shortened, and he was trying to escape, but he got shot by the well, probably just a normal rifleman. There's also a dead French soldier here. He's been there for a while, so he's become skeletal because of the rats. Now we'll get on to the trench. So the trench is pretty simple, it's um, just lined with the um, log pieces, nothing particularly spectacular. And there are, uh, hold on, I'm just going to get a lamp to show you the insides of the trench better because it's a bit dark. Uh, you can see there are parapets here and here. There's also layering here where a bit of the trench has collapsed and uh, the mud's fallen down. Uh, there's also a radio over here, which is a pretty cool design, I think. Don't want that. Which is a pretty cool design, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, in the in the trench there is a. Oh, hold on. This is it's not meant to be like this. There is a dead Frenchman who was shot, and while he was up on the parapet, and so he's kind of fallen back and leaned against the other wall. And then there's a Plutonian sharpshooter. Taking the parapet with him, and he's armed with a Carnot 8K sniper rifle. Uh, there is a French officer here, and he's kind of like he's wearing a um, red rain cape uh, to because it's a, a, as I said a very rainy planet. Uh, the machine gunner is also wearing a rain cape. There are two French soldiers here, and they're um, firing, one's firing at the um, British, and the other is running along the trench, and there you can see a toilet uh, dug under the trench. The Frenchman is just running along. Uh, 
Uh, the French men, the French soldiers, are made using the cavalry torsos. Well, the cavalry torsos. And. Oh, not focusing. The cavalry torsos and um, German webbing. Um, yep. And the machine gunner here, he's firing on the, Brit on the British attack. He's uh, in a little bunker here that's been camouflaged over and surrounded with sandbags. And he's firing his machine gun, which I'll show you. Uh, this is the machine gun. It looks pretty cool, I think. Looks very Victorian, I, I believe. Um, yeah. So he's just under there, uh, defending against the British assault. And all over the, all over the battlefield you can see the ruins of trees. There's one that's a light here. Yeah. And then there's just the carcasses of trees there. Um, not much else to talk about. Uh, as I said, uh, there's quite a lot of layering around the battlefield to show really the d devastation that the battle has had. Uh, that's about it for the mock. My um, next mock is likely to be set on Coruscant during the Galactic Civil War. Uh, it's kind of a separate conflict, but it's talked it's talked about in the aftermath books uh, there's a civil a civil war erupts on Coruscant after Palpatine dies but the um rebels don't really do much to help uh any either side so it's really just the empire against the Coruscant rebels so I'll I'll be um doing a mock on that I've already started it it's coming along quite well I think uh that's about it for this video Please feel free to um, drop a like if you like it. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, subscribe. Okay, bye.